Hello everyone, my name is Eric Wright. I'm going to show you how to use your computer in order to search. This is a very basic thing that every computer user might want to know. To search for things on the internet, things like images, videos, articles, anything. Um, an address. And I know many people already know this. It, it's very basic action. And um, I also know that some people have some difficulties to know it. So this is a very, very basic tutorial to show you how to do that. So I'm going to assume a couple of things before I start. I'm going to assume that you already have a computer or you have access to a computer like uh, have access to a library with a computer or your school computer or your friends or family's computer so I'm going to assume that you have a computer or access to the computer second the second thing I'm going to assume is that you already have a web browser installed on your computer it doesn't really matter what web browser you might be using it can be Internet Explorer, it can be Google Chrome, it can be Safari, it can be Mozilla Firefox, it can be Opera, any of these can do the same thing. However, in this tutorial, I'm going to use um, a Firefox web browser to do that. So, in case you don't have Firefox, uh, don't panic the principles are going to be very similar if I have enough time I might even show you this the same kind of uh, action performed inside a different browser so to give you an idea how it might look but anyway these these two are my basic assumptions I'm not going to assume anything else uh, let's start okay the first thing that you would like to do is to open up your browser. In this case, I'm going to open up my browser, which is a Mozilla Firefox. I'm going to show you how to search for a simple term. I live in Vancouver, so I, I would like to search for something that is in Vancouver. I would like to search for Vancouver hotels. And I'm going to show you how we do that and go through a few steps to, to do even more stuff, search for more things. Okay, so I opened up my browser, my Firefox, as you can see in this um, screencast. I'm going to maximize it by clicking on this little square over there that maximizes the size of the window, whatever the, the window is it makes it larger so I can see everything in my window and I'm going to show you where to search for stuff there are different ways to do the search the simplest way is to click in this area which is called address bar all web browsers have this address bar and this address bar is very useful if you click on this area you can see that um, whatever text is already in the address bar it is selected right now you can delete it and you can search something you can um, you can even put your own address in there and and go there and visit th that page whatever the page is today we want to search for something so we want to go and visit a, a page that allows us to search okay most people use web searches or web search engines called Google Google is an enormous company provides one of the things that it provides is search um, um, search index search results that can be accessed in two different ways one is to type whatever you want to search for in the address bar so this area that you can see this is called address bar this area this white blank area is address bar when you click on that 
if there is anything in it, it would be selected. So you delete that, whatever it is there, you delete that, and then you type whatever you want to search for. As I told you, I would like to search for hotels in Vancouver. So I immediately type whatever I want to search for. In this case, it is Vancouver. Vancouver. And what in Vancouver do I like to search for? It's hotels. Hotels, okay? So I do this. And as soon as I press enter, the enter key on my keyboard, as soon as I press that, my search is done. So as you can see, this is one way to search for whatever I, I would like to search for. Um, as you can see, there are so many different things that just came up in the search result. Whatever you see in this page is called search result. Um, there are some advertising. As you can see, it is indicated by this little orange sign or yellow so sign over here with AD on it. It means that this is an ad, advertising. So the first one and the second one is an advertising, or both of them are advertising. This side column over here, the items over here are also advertisements. They are paid for by different companies or different um, uh, organizations or even different people. In this case, most of them are paid for by hotels. Look at this one. This is Fairmont. Hotel. So Fairmont Hotel bought some advertising with Google. So Google places the ad of this company over there or this hotel over there. All right. So what we have done was a very simple search. We typed the, the keywords we want to search for over here. And we got the results. I'm going to do it one more time. By the way, uh, actually, um, I'm assuming one more thing. I, I thought that I'm assuming only two things. I'm assuming one more thing. I'm assuming that you already know how to use your keyboard. So you're familiar with the, the keys like backspace, the key uh, like delete key or enter key or um, space bar or the control key or the shift key and these keys. I'm assuming that you already know what these keys are, so I'm not going to explain those keys. Anyway, so back to the searching thing. In order to search, the easiest way to do in Firefox usually is to click in this area, which is called address bar. If you are not already clicked in there, you have not clicked in there, you can click. And as soon as you click, whatever is in there, is selected. It turns blue, which means it is selected. The text in there is selected. Now you can manipulate the text. You can delete it, replace it with something new. So if you press the backspace key or the delete key on your keyboard, whatever is in there is gone. You can replace it with something new. All right, let's search for something else. Let's search for um, cinemas in Vancouver. So I, I say cinemas in Vancouver and press enter. What I would get is this. Very simple. It shows me some results on the left side. As you can see, these are results of my search. And also it shows me the map of the city of Vancouver with the cinemas placed on the map. As soon as I click on this map, I will be redirected to another page, which is called Google Map. In here, I can see the search results being placed on the map um, to make it easy for me to see them. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Too much. Okay, now, now I'm zoom, zoom, zoomed in a little bit. I can see the red dots red circles here. These are different uh, cinema or theaters, movie theaters around the city. One of them is, ha, ah, which one? Uh, Empire Theater. This is a big one on Burrard. If I click on that, it gives me more information about that particular 
building or particular company or whatever it is restaurant or in this case it is a cinema see look at this it gives me the phone number here it also gives me the address of this place as you can see it's 855 Granville Street oh no that was not the one I wanted ah Burard this is the one I wanted actually this is the big one this is an enormous one Scotia Bank Theatre in Vancouver which is a very big one um, I like this one better also as you can see the information is changed now to the um, address of the place and the telephone number of the place you can you can see it also you can see over here the reviews and number of I mean this is this is the reviews you, you, you probably have seen these kind of things like people give stars to uh, to different companies of products and services in order to rate them and say okay let's say this this company provides I don't know food or this restaurant provides food how many stars do you give to this company out of five stars if five stars is the best product the, the best restaurants for example how many stars do you give to this company compared to the best company you might say, ah, oh, while well, this company or this restaurant is awesome, I'm going to give it three stars, or five stars, or three or three and a half, I don't know, or four stars. And people do this all the time. So as people place their reviews for different products and, and services and and uh, companies and businesses, these numbers um, add up, and then the average of those stars that people give will end up being here. So you saw these kind of things when you buy stuff from Amazon.com, from eBay, from different places. You see very similar things. People place a review and then give that company or that service some stars. And you see always the, the average of all the stars that people gave to this company. And in this case, Scotiabank Theater is a good, good theater. It, it got 3.7 out of 5 stars, which is a good review relatively speaking it's not too bad uh, let us try the other one this one for example this is 3.8 so it seems to be a little bit oh, well not much but a little bit marginally better <laughs> and um, let's try this one this one has four reviews but doesn't have any star yet so it seems that the more people review it and the, and the more people um, give the stars the better the review would be, the quality of reviews, and the stars would appear. In this case, probably nobody gave it any star yet, so it's not rated um, as of now. It might change tomorrow. So, okay, let's go back one step again. Let me close this, this window. I'll start from scratch. Okay, we want to search the internet for something. That is the purpose. Again, the simplest way to do that is to click on this address bar. This, this part is called address bar. If you click on it, and if it is empty, your cursor will appear there. See the cursor? This is this blink blinking line that is called a cursor. That um, appears in there. If you are not in there, if the cursor is not there, you click on that, the cursor appears. If there is a text written in that in that place, if you click in there, the text is um, it turns blue, which means it is selected. Then you can delete it or or change it. So I, I change it, I delete it, I press backspace. I can also press delete the delete button to remove it. Then I place whatever I want to place in there, whatever I want to search for. Let's say I would like to search for cute cat. Cute cats. Okay, you see? Bingo. Very, very easy, very simple, very straightforward. This is one way to do that. This is usually the simplest way. There is another way to do the same thing by going to the home page of Google.com. Let's do that instead this time. All right. The home page of Google has an address what is its address its address is google.com 
com. Uh, any page you see on the internet, any page, any object you see on the internet has an address and the address appears up here. The address of that particular page appears up there. The home page of Google also has an address and the address of the home page of Google where you see the search engine everything in there it is google.com I'm going to type it in there google.com okay and press enter once I do that I land on the home page of Google this is the home page of Google and from here I can also uh, do my search now this time I would like to do the search instead of clicking on my address bar and and put my search term up there in this instance in this example I'm going to put my search in here you see this area this white area this box this is the search box alright let's search something let's search um, um, physics physics and press enter all right good the same idea and well this these are the results of my search I can click on them and open them in a new tab or a new window and do my other stuff with the with the search so this uh, tutorial was about how to search for any term on google.com in the next tutorial I would like to show you how to search for images on google.com okay thank you for watching and I invite you to watch the next video on how to search for images